Doug, Brad Cox has three contenders in Derby 148. Zozos, Tony Port, and Cyberknife. These days, you have to call Cox a Kentucky Derby winning trainer, even though the path to that title was completely out of his control. Brad Cox grew up in the shadows of the Twin Spires. As a kid, he grew up dreaming about winning the Kentucky Derby. And when he finally did, this is how he found out. Through a text message. A text message sent by members of the media on February 21st, the day Medina Spirit was disqualified from the Derby for testing positive for betamethasone on race day. Cox's mandaloon was awarded the victory. Is there a part of you that said, not like this? No, not really, but like I said, I mean, it just really wasn't any thrill of victory. I mean, it just, it was kind of like, okay, cool. I mean, it is what it is. There was no celebration. Just this sign hangs outside of his barn at Churchill Downs. Yeah, no, it's kind of, it's kind of odd. I mean, it's not really like how you think you're going to win the Kentucky Derby. A decision that came eight months after the Derby itself, but Cox understood the process. Maybe some good things can come from it, you know, such as maybe pre-race testing as, as opposed to post-race testing. That would be my biggest thing, uh, you know, especially, well, I've said it several times, a race of this magnitude, we should know when the horses go over there that, you know, we're all playing on a level playing field and, uh, you know, we don't, we don't have to worry about the result. This year, he will saddle several contenders in the run for the Roses, horses with a real shot. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, no doubt. And after the events of last year, Perhaps that drive has intensified. I don't know if I'd say any more. I mean, you know, I still still want to win it uh, and, and, you know, experience the thrill of victory. I think that's the biggest thing with the Kentucky Derby is the thrill of victory, and we didn't experience that. Winning the Derby the right way.